Hello, friends. Welcome to another adventure. Here we are, getting ready for the day to experience all the things. Uh, we went to Toronto Island for the afternoon, and uh, to get there, we had to take the ferry. Um, now, you can go to their website and find all their times and prices. It was $8.50 uh, round trip for, uh, per adult. Um, I highly recommend checking out the times as we pulled up and we watched the ferry that we wanted um, depart. So we waited around for about 45 minutes. That just meant that we were the first ones on the next one. So here we are, we have some tremendous views of the island and, and the harbor uh, in Toronto. And then uh, obviously this is a time lapse, the boat's not really going that fast, but uh, here we are pulling in to uh, the island here. Try to, to be the first one up. So if you want, there are some lockers available for you to store your stuff, uh, but there's plenty of things to do and there are signs, signs everywhere there are signs. So you can make sure you know where you're going. Um, it's a beautifully handcrafted bridge we're walking over with uh, some beautiful scenery. It was nice to see all the boats and uh, people who had rented jet skis just cruising around um, the island as well. I really don't know if that bridge was handcrafted, I just made that up. It's pretty. But uh, that, uh, this fountain looked really nice and thought I'd take a video of it in uh, slow motion. Mm -hmm. uh, there are people that do uh, live on the island. Uh, we did find a sign for clothing optional beach, however we did not partake. Not a strict amount of naked men I need to see in a day, and that number is always zero. Um, so here we are, making our way to the pier. And so this, uh, there's some, some fun little uh, artwork that is painted um, at the end of the pier. And uh, the, you get a beautiful view of uh, the CN Tower there, which you don't really get to see if you are in Toronto, they are down right downtown. Here we are with some more signs with some key uh, places in and around the globe. Here we are looking outward into Lake Ontario. If you uh, look straight across to New York or, or maybe Niagara on the Falls, depending on what way you turn your head. Niagara on the Lake, my mistake. We weren't the only ones taking pictures of this. Uh, I'm going to call it a mural, but... I don't think it's a mural. It's a mural. I'll still call it a mural. Okay. And, uh, again, more, uh, more pictures of the CN Tower. So here we are um, on uh, the Toronto Island Park. You gotta watch out for these guys. Uh, this video was taken right after I was savagely attacked. Uh, they will mistake your toes for uh, probably what looked like a hot dog that someone dropped because he savagely attacked me. All I wanted was a view of the, C the CN Tower and the Sky Dome or Rogers Center. So, but all in all, it was a great day uh, filled with uh, a lot of fun things you won't necessarily get to do while you're, or think you would get to do while you're in Toronto. And, uh, but you can, there's activities to do, like renting bikes, or you can just, you know, have a picnic, make your own fun. So. Thanks for watching. See you on the next adventure.